Welcome back to the real estate market update. We are doing December's 2022 update right now, but I just want to let you know that we all been a during a crazy real estate market started during the pandemic. I don't need to tell you, watch the videos that I've done. And then the announcement of the Fed that the interest rates are going to be increasing started in March of 2022. And here we are in January and what happened? Are we seeing any changes? What kind of effects the high interest rates are contributing to the market? Do they even contribute? You guys who are planning to buy a house and been waiting for the prices to drop, is the time finally here? And you sellers who were thinking about making a move feel stuck right now because the interest rates are so high. There's not much inventory in the market for you to buy. And why would you even give up a low interest rate on the current home and move into something that's going to be much higher in the value of the house that you're going to have to pay as long as a much higher interest rate. So in order to do that and figure out what happened, let's take a look at our market statistics. And today I'm going to give you a little bit of extra. I will give a breakdown into the different sections of Staten Island and see how and if these locations have been affected the way the overall market is. So we'll do the Staten Island first as a whole, and then we'll go into each area. I'll break it down for you in chapters. So if there's an area that you're not interested in, you can just skip over it and make it easy for you. Okay. So let's jump right to it. Let's do a quick overview. So we have the quick facts over on Staten Island. One year change in closed sales is 39.5%. One year change in median sale price is 7.2%. And then one year change in inventory, the inventory has been down 10.2%. Now let's look at the statistics. All right. So the quick facts are that minus 28.2% is down with the closed sales in a year. And then look at that. The median sale price now changed to a minus of 0.6%. And we're going to look and see why this is like that. And then the inventory shrunk by 7.5%. So new listings on Staten Island decreased by 22.6% to 212 only for the month of December. And the pending sales were down 41.8% to 224 and the inventory levels fell 7.5% to only 1,202 units. The prices were fairly stable. The median sale price decreased by 0.6% to 616,500. The days on the market were up. 9.2% to now 78 days. Buyers felt a power as the month's supply of inventory was up 19.9% to 3.5 months. And as I always tell you, up until we reach the six month supply, we are still in a seller's market. So what they say, the economists predict sales will continue to slow and housing prices will soften in many markets over the next 12 months with larger price declines projected in more expensive areas. However, national inventory shortages will likely keep prices from dropping too much as buyer demand continues to outpace supply which remains limited to 3.3 months, according to National Association of Realtors. Now, even if prices fall, many prospective buyers will find it difficult to afford a home in 2023 as higher rates have diminished purchasing power, adding hundreds of dollars to monthly mortgage payments. This is the market overview. The interesting thing that we saw was the median sale price slightly down from 620,000 to 616 and a half. And then the average sales price overall 
is a little bit less 0.03% and then percentage of the original list price to received is now down also. So it was 97.1%, now it's 94.3%. So inventory of home sale price are down by 7.5% and the month supply is up to now 3.5 percent so new listings were down in 2022 in december and then year to date they were down by 7.9 percent the pending sales 224 in december of 2022 and 4173 over year to date so what does this whole thing mean and why have we seen this median sale price drop? Let me tell you this much. I just, in the past week, have been doing a couple of things. So I had worked with a buyer who one of the properties that we wanted to see was an open house. I got there a little bit early, waiting for my clients. I drive in there and this is in Annadale, South Shore, Staten Island. And the line to get into the open houses out the door. So I went and stood in line while waiting for my client. I spoke to the people that were standing in line, just talked to them. Some of them had, didn't have any agents. So I was curious to know, you brought them to this house, what their expectations are and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. There's people who are going to open houses even when they already have an accepted offer on their property and that was an interesting find because when i said why are you here then and she, the lady said to me well i need to buy something i have an accepted offer on a property and i don't really want to live in that neighborhood but i don't have another choice so i'm here just to see if maybe this house is going to be a house that's going to make some sense for me and i would make an offer here do you understand what's happening here people are buying houses just because they need to buy a house even in places that they prefer not to live there obviously my client came we looked at the house past us there was the line wasn't stopping so we decided to make an offer on this house do you want to guess how many offers we were competing with? Eight. That's one of the situation. Now we're making, negotiating on an offer on another property with some other client, not the same client, same thing, multiple offers. So why are we seeing this decline in median home sale price? First of all, in my opinion, and that's my opinion as a professional experienced realtor, is that the market, first of all, is very hyper local. Do I need to say that a gazillion times? I always say it in my videos. The thing is that there was a period of time that prices were escalating and that you had a specific list price based on the recent comps because of the multiple offers the homes were selling for higher than list price. So when you average that all together, the median home sale price, of course, will be going up. Now, because the interest rate is so high and people, when they list correctly, what happens is that they are receiving either ask price or a little bit less. So it's an adjustment. I don't really think that it's a solid indication that prices are going down. I just think that it's a solid indication that finally we're starting to see the results of the correction and a little bit more stability. And the hype is going to go down a little bit, like buyers will have more time to make a decision. Again, not on everything because anything that's priced under the homes that are within that median sale price i think the competition is still fierce but as we just saw there's still buyer demand still is a lot higher than the available inventory on the market plus let's not forget that december is a very tricky and slow month because of the holidays 
so there's holidays in between people are busy here buying presents and having family and just taking off or their mind is somewhere else not everybody is focused into buying a house a lot of sellers don't even want to show a home during the holidays so it's a big combination of those issues so i wouldn't really count on december that much to give us an indication i think it's showing some signs that we're getting to to the stability and i think stability is important this story about this lady who was just buying a house i don't know if i would want my clients to do that and i don't know if any one of us you me anyone buy a house just because we don't have a place to live and we need to or we're being forced out of our rentals especially people who rent in private homes because things happen I have family members who want to move in and they say bye bye we gotta vacate what are you gonna do and so having stability gives us better shot into taking their time to make a decision and look for a home that they really go and enjoy and be happy living there for a long time so let's look at what's going on in different sections of staten island right now we're going to do the east shore which includes auto car Dresmere, old town south beach duncan hills below boulevard grand city and midland beach all right so we have last three months we had a 27 percent decline in new listings we had a 21.4 percent decline in closed sales and the year to date is a decline of 11.1 percent in closed sales and a decline of 8.4 percent in new listings so the median sale price in the east shore is actually up by 4.1 percent in the last three months but in the last three months the median sales price was 642,500. If we take the entire year of 2022, the median sale price was 669,000. Okay, so in the East Shore, we have a comparison. So year over year change in new listings, we're down 27%. Year over year change in closed sales, we're down 21.4%. And the year over year change in median sale price is up by 4.1%. And the month supply of inventory, it was 3.8% for the year 2021, and it is 4.2% for 2022. But whichever way you want to look at it, we're still not at 6%. So this is still a seller's market. Now we will take a look at Gateway, which includes New Dorp, Oakwood Beach, Oakwood Heights, Bay Terrace, Great Kills, and Eltonville. And let's see how this shows up for us here. And what's the news? Year over year change in new listings are down 25.9%. Year-over-year year change in closed sales down 31.7%. And the year-over-year, one-year change in median sale price is up by 0.9%. Month supply of inventory is up by 17.9%. So it was 2.7 month supply in 2021. It was 3.2 mine supply in 2022, but you know what I'm gonna say, it's still under 6%. And now let's go and take a look at the next one, Greater St. George, which includes data from Fort Wadsworth, Concord, Shore Acres, Rosebank, Clifton, Stapleton, Tompkinsville, St. George, Ward Hill, Park Hill, and Grimes Hill. Year-over-year -year change in new listings down 11.4%. Year-over-year change in closed sales is down 37.3%. And the one-year change in median sale price is down by 18%. Oh, now look what's going on here's where we're seeing a little bit of changes so the last three months in 2021 the month supply of inventory was 4.9 percent 
and the last three months of 2022, the month supply of inventory is 6.4%. Now here's where there's some changes based on this data. So now we're past the 6%. So we're tipping over where it looks like that the buyers might have an upper hand, specifically in the greater St. George area, which includes Fort Wadsworth, Concord, Shore Acres, Rosebank, Clifton, Stapleton, Tompkinsville, St. George, Ward Hill, Park Hill, and Grimes Hill. Take a note because that's where median sale went down by 18% when we compare the last three months of 2021, the median sale price was 549,000. And last year, which is the last three months of 2022, the median sale price was $450,000. So if you're looking for opportunities, maybe those this side of the island would be something that is going to be an opportunity for you to get into a house. So now let's see what is going on in Heartland. And Heartland includes data from Willowbrook, Manor Heights, Bulls Head, New Springville, Heartland Village, Travis, and Rhett. So let me show you what data is showing us right here. That's becoming very fun and interesting. So the year over year change in new listings are up. 9%. So we're getting more people to list their homes in the Heartland section. And then year over year, change in closed sales were still down 28.7%. And then one year change in median sale price is now down 2.8%. The month supply of inventory in 2021 was 2.5 months. And then the month supply of 2022 were four months supply. So although these are indications that maybe there's some changes going on in the Heartland area, which includes Willowbrook, Manor Heights, Bulls Head, New Springville, Heartland Village, Travis and Lateret, it's still showing up as a seller's market. So what I think is prices in Heartland section, those neighborhoods, they skyrocketed really significantly. Even homes that shouldn't be priced over a million dollars were priced in those numbers. I think that's really the main result is from that perspective because I've seen houses like two family high ranches listing above a million dollars. It's just my opinion, okay? All right, so our next stop is going to be the North Shore. And the North Shore includes data from New Brighton, Snap Harbor, Livingston, Randall Manor, West Brighton, Fort Richmond, Mariner Harbor, Graniteville, Arlington, Bloomfield, and Elk Park. And then do you guys wanna know what's going on over there? I think you do. So uh, let's just share my screen for you guys. Year over year change in new listings, 15.7% decrease. Year over year change in closed sales, 28.8% decrease. And year over year median sale price increased by 3.8%. The median sale price in the last three months of 2021 was just under 500,000. And in the last three months of last year, it was 519,000, so 3.8% up. And then year to date, so the median sale price through 2021 average at 485,000 and the median sale price in 2022 average to 525,000. So that's an 8.2% increase in median sale price comparing 2021 to 2022. But the month supply of inventory remains under six month supply. And that's how we're getting this 3.8 
percent increase of the median sale price it was 4.4 month supply in 2021 and it's 4.6 supply in 2022 and let's see what we got next for you south shore so the south shore includes data from annadale southeast annadale arden heights rossville woodrow Huguenot, princess bay pleasant plains charleston richmond valley and tottenville to see the data there i think you do let's take a look oh those numbers are huge okay so year over year change in new listings 35 percent drop that's serious stuff and year over year change in closed sales 36.9 percent so to me i'm just looking at this okay so we have a 35 percent drop in inventory and very Similar to that, we have a drop in closed sales. So sounds to me like the closed sales and the available inventory go hand in hand. The median sale price went up by 8.8% in the South Shore. So let's look at the median sale price. So the median sale price in the last three months of 2021 was 666,000 and in the last three months of 2022 it was 725,000 and then if we look at the overall year the median sale price through the year of 2021 on the south shore was 649,000 and the median sale price in the year 2022 in the south shore was 715,000 and Overall, when we compare, so it was still an increase of 10.2%. The month supply inventory in 2021 during that time was 2.5 months supply of inventory. And in the same time in 2022, it's 3.3% month supply. So I know when you look at this, oh, the month supply increased by 30.6%. When you look at such small numbers, single digit numbers like that, of course, the percentage is going to be huge. But technically, we are still halfway from even reaching the point where the market would start shifting towards the buyer side. Just so you know, just be, let's say hypothetically speaking, we're reaching to the six month supply, right? It's still not going to tip over to the buyer side. The only thing that's going to happen is that we're going to be on a flat line and that could be going on for a long time. Yes, it could tip over really quickly if all of a sudden more inventory is going to come to the market and there's going to be inventory that now is going to seven months supply. Now that's when the buyers are going to start gaining some power and some, some control and some say and maybe finally get to sit in the driver's seat behind the wheel. But it's very difficult to predict how long we're going to stay on that flat line and just be like nothing, no changes as far as like prices. The only thing that's gonna change probably is how long does it take to sell a house? So I did a video at some point when I was uh, talking about the story of the before internet became so popular with like data and stuff like that and very easily reachable. What used to happen is like sometimes it would take like nine months from the time the property goes on the market all the way to the closing. I don't think it's going to come to the point, but yeah, those things used to happen. So let's check out our next fun area in Staten Island, which we call the Hills. And that includes data from Emerson Hill, Todd Hill, Lower Todd Hill, Lighthouse Hill, Richmond Town, High Rock, Duncan Hills Colony, and Emerson Hill. You ready to check these out? I think you are. Let's go check them out. So year over year change in new listing. New listings are down 39.5%. Year over year change in closed sales down by 23.2%. Year over year change in median sale price. Look at that, 24.6% gained, increase. So the median sale price in the last three months of 2021 was 700,000 and it skyrocketed by almost 25% in 2022 during the same period of time. And we're talking about 
fourth quarter, right? At $872,000. The year to date, so through the entire 2021, the median sale price was $755,000. And then through entire 2022, the median sale price was $900,000. Now, the month supply of inventory was 5.9 months back in 2021 and then it went down to 5.2 months of inventory in 2022 so now we have last but not least the lakes includes data from westerly sunset hill and sunnyside and let me share my screen with you and we'll check this out let's see year over year change in new listings down by 5.3 percent year over year change in closed sales down by 31.4 percent year over year change in median sale price ha it's zero look at that stuff okay so the median sale price in the last quarter of 2021 in the lakes was 660,000, and the same thing in 2022 660,000 so we have no change but the median sale price in 2021 as a whole was 619,000 and then as a whole in 2022 it was 675,000 so the month's supply of inventory in 2021 in the lakes were 2.5 months versus 2022 in the lakes was 3.6 months so we are still nowhere near being in a six month supply of inventory like i said december is not an indication of, of stuff based on my experience as i mentioned to you i don't see anything changes in the like real changes that worry some or anything like that if you want some more information you can ask me in the comments give me your opinion give me your experience if you're in the market to buy or sell let me know if you've experiencing a lot of showings or multiple offers that you could share with me anything you could share in the public forum here in the comments i think education and knowledge will help all of us as a community to understand where things are heading to make better decisions in this so stick around and for you guys that are interested in the new jersey market stick around because that's coming up next